greeting students. I want to say um, a short word or two about, about your exam. First of all, your exams were just astonishingly excellent. Um, I'm so overwhelmingly pleased at the amount of thought that you put in, in general, the amount of thought that you put in, into all your answers. You, you know, uh, responses were really, really outstanding. And I think your grades, your grades should have shown that. Um, just, just a, a few quick notes on, 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 on a, a few quick notes on a question or two. The first one is the comparison of Lucas's view on inequality and Krugman's view on inequality. Um, I think that a lot of you answered that question and I just want to make sure that the point is emphasized what the difference is between what Lucas was saying about inequality and what Krugman was saying about, about inequality in their respective papers. Lucas's paper is uh, just a statement that a long time ago, every country was poor. And so there was a lot of equality among countries because everyone was at the base. Everyone was, was, was pretty much equally poor. And then over time, countries start growing. Okay. The first countries that grow have to hack their way through uh, growth. They have to invent everything and figure out how to incorporate those inventions into the commercial economy. So um, the richest countries are going to tend to grow the slowest, if that, if that makes any sense. Over time, more and more countries will sort of reach a mass of, you know, institutions or you know, trade or whatever, whatever triggers it is, is beside the point, but different economies, different societies, different countries, however you want to think about it, they'll join the growth. Okay. So once that happens, they don't have to start from scratch. They have some advantages, um, that the initial countries didn't have. So they can, they can adopt technology and, and incorporate it into their commercial economy instead of having to invent technology and, and incorporate it in, in, into its uh, uh, commercial economy. So those countries, we, we tend to think they can grow faster. All right, so there should be a convergence of the countries that are growing to a higher to a higher level. So in an intermediate sense, we're going to have rich countries, we're going to have developing countries, and then perhaps we're going to have some countries that haven't started that development yet. So at that point, you're going to have a lot of measured inequality between nations, or sorry, among nations. So you're going to have poor nations, you're going to have middle income nations, you're going to have rich nations in, 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 a, in a material sense, of course. And, you know, to sort of finish Lucas's experiment out, he thought that there would become a time when inequality would decrease because all countries would converge on the richest ones. Okay, so we start out with everyone being equally poor and we end up at the end of the process with all, and I said everyone before, I meant all nations. And then we end up in this process of all nations being more or less equally rich. And in the immediate, intermediate period, we have this massively uh, measurable inequality among nations, poor nations and rich nations. Now, Krugman was making statements about the individual in developed countries. So Krugman's, in, uh, Krugman's research focused on European countries in, in comparison to the United States. What Krugman said um, about about inequality was 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 basic was basically this. Um, you know, the conventional wisdom in the mid '90s, when that um, article was written, was that uh, the increase in inequality that we that we had seen in the previous decades in countries like the United States was the result of technical change. Okay. Was, was was the result was the result of, of, of technical change so in uh, focusing on a single nation that had become rich when that nation was poor everyone was equally poor basically so there would have been very very little inequality because everybody's starting out at the base there are a few exceptions all right you've got 
you know, monarchs and, you know, perhaps a few captains of, you know, big landowners, a few captains of industry in the early times that might be extremely rich or something like that. So, but for the most part, most people are really, really poor. When the economy starts to grow, that's going to be directly correlated with individuals in that economy becoming better off, becoming, becoming richer. All right, so you've got some of these people that are poor are going to become rich. That causes the average level of income in the entire country to go up. And that's what we see in Lucas's paper. Everybody's getting richer. All right, every, everybody's, everybody's getting richer. Uh, every nation is getting richer. Not everybody in every nation is getting richer. Excuse me again uh, for, you know, for you know, being a little bit sloppy in, in, in the way I'm in the way I'm explaining this. And so what, what Krugman reported was basically the consensus of economics back then. As far as I know, it's still the consensus of of, of economics. The, the the primary driver of this was when you're looking at individuals in a growing economy, some of those individuals are necessarily going to be better equipped, luckier whatever the mechanism is, doesn't really make any difference. Some of the individuals in those, in those economies are going to adapt to that new technology faster or better than others. All right, so you're gonna have some people getting humongous increases in wages while others are getting lower increases, um, lower increases in wages. So as a nation becomes rich, and as these sort of technological innovations that, that, that appear, such as in the 80s, the computer uh, would, 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 would be a good one. The, the citizens or the, the residents of that economy or, or country that are able to better adapt to the, whatever the innovation is are gonna be the ones that benefit from it, that benefit from it the most. All right, so you're gonna have, because of technical innovation, you're gonna have this increase in measured inequality among an individual country's citizens. Okay, so that's, that's sort of Krugman's point. Now there's no mechanism in Krugman's point that suggests that that income inequality will ever go away necessarily. And Lucas had one, all right? Lucas had this idea of convergence. All right, there's, there's you know, Krugman's story is, 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 is incomplete in that regard, but there really isn't any mechanism that suggests that there's going to be a time in the future when everyone fully adapts to whatever the technology is at the time. All right, so we can't really expect convergence among individuals within a growing economy like we can among nations that are growing to catch up to the richest, richest nation. All right, see, so do you see the contrast there? see the contrast there so I, I think that's the, the I think that's the most important takeaway in comparing in comparing Lucas uh, Lucas's idea uh, with 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 Krugman's and I, I think that's the main thing that I want you to understand from the exam that a lot of you that a lot of you didn't uh, quite get a lot of you didn't quite get to that point where I wanted you where I, where I, where I wanted you to get so um, again great exam um, do the same on your final as you did on the midterm. Um, you know, if, if I said something about the midterm to improve on the final, uh, take note of that when you're writing your final. I should post your final today if all goes well. Uh, I'm getting that ready to, to deploy to, today. And, um, you know, keep up, the, keep up the good work. Keep up with your daily assignments. Um, you know, be sure you check the, uh, you know, be sure you check the, the, the email every day. Uh, for message boards and stuff like that, that that we'll have a few more of. Um, you know, we're on the downward side of the semester right now, uh, so uh, we're almost all there at the end. Thanks a lot.